left. Let's see, there's an X. Yep. All right, now I'll just do two mile per hour. Hit the green check. There you go. So we're just going to use that. So un uncheck mark that first load. There you go. So now we're just using that bottom bottom load in this one. So this next pass do at uh, um, do at a mile and a half. Um, did, how like what kind of capacity did you have at that uh, two mile per hour? Was it pretty full being through? Or? Yeah. So you probably don't want to do much more than that. No. Okay. So yeah, just do a mile and a half, the next pass, and we want to start a new calibration, so hit your back button, hit wait, new load, hit green check. All right, so I'll take another pass, down and back. gonna go to the other end and I'll come back empty. Just getting started with shelling corn. Today is October 17th, and we are calibrating the yield monitor in the combine. So, Ag Leader just released a new firmware update that allows you just to do two calibration loads. Uh, we're not totally sure how accurate it really is. All we know is that we did three, I think, last year, and it was pretty darn accurate. So we're doing at least three, and we are on our third calibration load right now. Right now it's saying it's yielding about 192 average, and the moisture is sitting right around 20%. So once we get this calibrated, then we can go full bore and keep on harvesting. Uh, we got a long way to go. We are a little bit delayed because of all the rain that we've been getting. If you would like to see more corn down than there is right now. We had three inches of rain last week. Yeah, we had three inches of rain last week. So 
we are a little bit delayed. We saw that some people were going yesterday, so it seems like it's fine to be going today, so we're doing what we can. monitor saying we have 3,232 pounds of corn so we're gonna go back and do another calibration load to check and see just how accurate that is um, the first load wasn't too accurate the second one was within 0.1 percent uh, we'll see how accurate this one is now because we're doing it at different speeds because you want it to be calibrated to know what it's handling at certain or at different speeds, so you're not going to be constantly moving at two and a half miles an hour as you're shelling corn. Your speed's going to vary, and if you don't do a lot of calibration loads, as your speed varies, it's not going to know what 200 bushels to the acre is going at two and a half miles an hour. That's kind of the concept behind it. the moisture uh, I'll check it I just did it twice it was 18.2 and 18.1 what's this reading 21.2 uh, what's it reading on the go I know that's the 20. average I wasn't watching that real close so I mean if you want to adjust it down another one because the last time, the last sample was 18 as well, so. One more point? I just do a, you know, the moisture offset's 1.5, just go a zero moisture offset. I think it should be right on, so. So yeah, I go the arrow down. Here? Yep. And just go down until that moisture offset's at zero. What's your overall, yeah, hit that button. I wanna see what the overall math looks like. So you can see where you combine that green area is all the aggregate 6441 and you can zoom in on it by taking two fingers and then yep just expanding it and then you can just move it over yeah that's sweet yep so slide back because you're up farther up so where you combine there's where oh. you combine well that's the breaking okay good see the variability there the outside of the field typically is running running lighter and if you just click on the screen it'll bring up that legend again see cool so if you're under 172 that whole outside pass of the field and where you radioed that it was running that 240 that whole pass is blue but look how much that outside brings you down mm-hmm no, and then these passes right through there, these past couple that you've taken have been running low, lower too. Right. So, so there's some variability in the field. Oh yeah, definitely. But, You'll see these blue lines here. That's the cow, right? Correct. And then the green is the agrigold. We did, we split the planter this year, uh, we, as we've talked about in the past. So we wanna see what the year yield comparison would be and by having the yield monitor and switching it between the combine and the planter tractor, we can have this information here so we can see what the yield difference overall was. So, Andrew's gonna hop in with that now and I'm gonna just kinda hang around, so. All right. So now that we've got the yield monitor calibrated, I wanted to hop out and take a look at the corn stalks. So, if you'll remember back a few videos, we installed the new chain rolls on the corn head. 
Now, I wish I had a side-by-side -side comparison to what the stocks looked like in previous years, but what the corn head would do in the past is essentially it would, the stocks would run into the corn head and then they would just tip over rather than being shred up. And we've had a lot of issues in the past with the corn stalks not getting shred up. And what happened, or what has happened, is that the corn stalks don't decompose. We have issues with integrating them into the soil. Um, what will happen quite often is we will go and we'll chisel plow one of the cornfields down, or actually a lot of the cornfields down, it, with the chisel plow. And the corn stalks would get bunched up in front of the gangs on the chisel plow because uh, with these stalks, they're just so so darn rigid that if they don't get shred up they'll just become a long stock and then they'll get caught up and they'll bunch up and then it's just a mess to try to get them all spread back out and uh out in the field so the socks are pretty well obliterated <laughs> and I, I really wish i just had a side-by-side -side comparison because the stocks previously were just tipped over and they weren't cut off and shredded I mean, look at all this. This is what we want. We want a lot of debris, a lot of small pieces of corn stalk because the more, if you have more small pieces of corn stalk, it'll decompose a heck of a lot faster than just a corn stalk that is tipped over. So I think that having the chain rolls on there really help. Um, with the brushes on there, the corn head is pulling in a lot more of the top of the plant and it's pulling in more debris, but it's also catching more kernels that way, hopefully increasing our yield. So, yeah, I, I definitely think that the chain rolls are helping. Uh, my only thing that I can really say is that I wish that the corn stalks were cut off lower. But I was riding with Dad, and I noticed that Dad pretty well had the, uh, the corn head all the way to the ground so i don't think though that's the chain rolls fault that's just for the fact that the design of the corn head doesn't really allow it to get that close to the ground um, and you can see as as you look along here that the heights of the corn stalks vary as dad was adjusting the height of the head because um, he was running it just just a few inches off the ground i mean i don't really think he could get much lower than this but regardless it's still better than what we've had previously and it should definitely help with some of our no-till fields that we have um, to break up some of that corn material. I mean, in some of our fields, and even last year, I don't know if I've seen a lot of it this year because, well, we hit a lot of our fields with the rhino mower and the uh, VT now. But uh, in a lot of our previous no-till fields, three years later, there would still be corn stalks standing, and that's not really something that you want. So if you can work the corn stalks in, should translate into a higher yield, essentially. So um, I just wanted to show us calibrating the yield monitor in this video. Uh, I'm gonna break it up into another one. I uh, don't know whether what I'm gonna do for the next video yet, but I'm gonna stop here because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, statistics have shown that people lose their attention after a few minutes and click out. So um, might as well just make it into several different videos and that way people keep coming back and uh, shorter time frame to watch, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, that's about it for this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And I'll see you next time. We weren't supposed to kill it. Amateurs.